this conversation has confirmed what we've known for quite some time, which is that considerations of climate change, energy efficiency, uh, renewable energies uh, are not only uh, not contradictory to their bottom lines, but for these companies, they're discovering that it can enhance their bottom lines. Um, you know, for decades, our addiction to fossil fuels, uh, to imported oil, uh, I think not only threatened uh, our planet uh, and our security, but also our economy. And what we've been able to do over the last seven years is even as we've uh, attained number one status in the production of oil and gas, what we've also been able to do is to sl slowly begin the transition of our economy uh, to a cleaner, uh, smarter approach to using energy. And many of the companies sitting around here have been at the forefront of that process. Uh, today, the CEOs around this table uh, who have already done extraordinary work are uh, determined to go even further. Right now, we've got 81 companies who've signed on to what we're calling the American Business Act on Climate Change. They operate in all 50 states. They've got about 9 million employees collectively, about $5 trillion worth of market cap. Uh, these are some of the cutting edge, most extraordinary businesses that we have. But it's not just the big companies that are getting involved, it's their suppliers and small businesses that are also getting involved and saying, number one, we need a strong uh, outcome in Paris uh, as we go for the climate summit there. And number two, we need to have a partnership between business and the federal government, state government, local governments, non-for-profit sector, all to continue to achieve aggressive uh, uh, reductions in our carbon footprint here in the United States as America as a leader. We have to do something about climate change uh, because not only is it going to have an impact on our children and our grandchildren and we have a moral obligation to leave them a planet that uh, is as wonderful as the one that we inherited from uh, our forebears, but it's really important for America's bottom line and economic growth that we do something about climate change. If we are at the forefront of this, if we are the innovators, if we are the early adapters, if we are the example setters, then we're the ones who are going to be creating and selling the products and services that help the entire world adapt to a, a clean energy future.